Hello Maplers, my name is Yonix and today I would like to talk about how you can spend your gems the best way in Monster Life. So as you can see here, I have 34 gems right now. The way you can get gems is on um, several ways. One of the ways is doing 10 times repeatable quests and every time you complete one, you get one gem. And a repeatable quest can be nurturing uh, some kind of monster or just play with it or just play with a great monster in this case great sea so these are my repeatable I have for now every three hours you can get three repeatable quests other way to get gems is with events so not long ago we had an event where we got seven gems per day you were playing monster life so that gave me and a lot of other players who play Monster Life 49 gems. Really big help. And with the coming um, Nova pets in the Nova shop, there probably be, will be a way to get gems as well. So I definitely recommend it if you want to invest on your farm and want to progress a lot faster. And the last way is um, spending an X to get them. So what do you want to do with your gems? Let's go to the shop first. First thing you want to do is um, expand your farm. The first two expenses you can pay Waru, but after that from level 21 and level 30, you have to spend gems for it. So I'm currently waiting till I'm 21. I'm pretty close and then I can get this one. Then the next thing you want to do uh, to spend your gems on is expand your monster slots. Because the more monster slots you have, the faster you can farm XP, the more monsters you can use for special bonuses. So all at all, definitely recommend it. So you can get for 8 gems uh, 5 times. And then the next step is 15 gems 5 times. Then there's also the option of expanding your monster barn, but this is less important. So then the next thing I would say is would be your buildings. And sometimes you get this balloon shop in your special shop, but it's quite rare. But you can also buy it with gems. And this is your end game building pretty much because it has good wire per 10 minutes, very high storage and good aesthetics. And, you know, the more aesthetics you get, the more often you get your special shop where you get more often this shop as well. So for end game wise, you want to get the tip top balloon shop, 12 gems each. So I'll try to farm as much gems as possible with the North pits. And then for aesthetics wise, you want to aim for the cannons. These give 3,200 and compared to like a violin or the to, um, the rice candy set which gives 2700 so try to aim for the cannon and the building of course so yeah and then you can choose either you can expand your monster barn expansion but the monsters you have in your monster barn you can't use uh, their benefits it's just a placeholder for your monster so another option you could do instead of that is um, use these monster boxes to get special monsters. You are guaranteed to get special monsters. They are between grade A and SS. Also these are sometimes in special shop as well. Same for the buildings and aesthetics. So you want to look out for your special shop because there you can buy them with Waru. But um, yeah, so when you have bought everything, you want to focus on getting the good monsters. And if you still have leftover, you can always do this, but this is not required at all. So there it is. Short uh, explanation how to get your gems and how to spend it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you all. And I see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>